911, where's your emergency? Um, I can't find my daughter. Okay, when was the last time you seen her? We were there at the port and people said that somebody, probably somebody took her. Okay. How old is she? She's five years old. Okay, and what park are you at? Here in Bridgeton Park. Okay, where at in the Bridgeton Park are you? Um, the one with the basketball court where high school is. Okay, so you're at the basketball courts behind the high school? Yes. Okay. And uh, what was she seeing last wearing? She was wearing, um, um, give me a second. Did you play with the on the in the weekend? I don't remember what clothes was she was wearing, but she was wearing, I just remember her pants. She was wearing like a flower, flowery pants and some heels, some white heels. Okay. Hi right, ma'am, stay in the line. I'm going to turn she over to the police, okay? You said she was five, correct? Yes. All right. Hello, ma'am? Hello. Hi, did you see which direction your child went? You know, um, we were in the car, she she came down with my son, they were running to the park, and then me and my sister, we came down, but when we, when we got here at the park, she wasn't here. They, they said that my son was just crying with his ice cream, because uh, somebody um, threw his ice cream in the floor and my daughter just ran away. All right. You didn't see anyone else around there that she could possibly have went with? No, not no that I know of, because we didn't saw no one. There's just some other people that they're here that said that they saw her running, running through um through some houses in the back, and they they said that they saw two per they saw two men. They saw a black guy and they saw so who's, who's, a Mexican who's man who's with who's two kids. They, who's saying that they saw them? Because there's people here in the basketball court that they saw her. They said that they saw her running. They're saying that there's people there at the basketball court that they saw her running through some houses with two black males. She's light-skinned Spanish. Did, what color top does she have on? Um, I don't remember. Okay. Are you at the basketball court? Yes, I'm right here right now. She's, that's affirmed. She says that she's at the basketball court. And do you have your son with you, or is your son... No, I have my son with me. They say um, he was crying when we found him. He was just standing there crying. Oh, he was standing there crying. So who... You said that the black males took his ice cream? No, they, um, they threw it in the floor. They so had the, threw the, it in the floor. So the two males took his, took his ice cream and threw it on the floor, and then they left with your daughter? Probably, because I didn't saw it. When we okay. came in and looked for her, we were looking everywhere for she her. She said and we that couldn't her son it. was at the basketball court with her daughter, that there was two black males that took her son's ice cream and threw it on the ground and left with her daughter. Okay, well, we have the officers. She's at the basketball court on Mayor Aiken. Are you on Mayor Aiken? Um, I already have an officer here. Okay. Okay. All right, we'll speak with the police, ma'am, okay? Okay. I'm at Bridgeton Park right now, and this is the basketball court where Dulce's mother called the police to report her daughter missing. And to this very day, she's still missing. This is just one of those weird stories. And there was rumor or talk about... Dulce's father, who lived in Mexico at the time, wanting his daughter with him. So I'd like to personally think that maybe the father has some friends lead her away and they took her to Mexico. I would hate to think something terrible happened to her, but we'll never know. It's difficult because... We always, when she was here, we used to celebrate her birthday, sing her happy birthday in the morning and get cake in the afternoon. I want um, authorities to pull their, her face out there more and to people keep sharing her and her story.